Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro CC tutorial, or basically for any video editor, I'm going to show you how to create the sync cut edits. It's one of the most basic popular types of editing. So let's say you have a music track or some types of, of sounds on your timeline and you want to sync your clip to this. Now this could work really cool with slow motion type of clips or clips where there's a smooth panning or some type of movement. But basically what you want to do is look at your music track and listen to it a couple times and figure out what it says to you. So each music track has a different mood or feel. Some things sound like slow motion. Some things sound like fast forward. Uh, some things sound like fading out or fading in. This is something you kind of have to develop a vision for. It can't really be taught. It's all about your creative vision. But in this case, I want to do a jump each time it does that little violin or like string hit. So what I can do is look at the actual waveform and listen to it a couple times and use my arrow keys to find that exact point and then press C to get my razor tool. No matter what program you're in, you can pretty much cut. You can also find the razor tool and all your other tools on the left side here. But C is the shortcut. And what I can do is just cut on this clip and then move over to a section where a decent amount of camera movement has happened and there will be a significant change that's visible and then make another cut and then I'm just going to press V to grab my move tool, highlight that middle portion and just delete it. And now when I drag this clip back over, what I'll get is a cut or a jump to a little bit more forward in the clip and that abrupt jump in the camera motion will sync to the music. So there's unlimited amount of ways that you can do this. You can cut between different clips like I'm doing here and sync to each different peak. Or you can cut from one actual clip to a completely different clip and a bunch of different clips in a row to create cool cinematic sequences. Additionally, you can do things like add text, like file, new, title, and add text or objects or other effects that come in right when the beat drops or certain things hit in the music. And you can add things like transitions to fade out or fade in to create another type of cinematic cut because when it hits that next bump in the beat, it'll flash back on at a different point. So you can see that most of this is done by hand. It's just your hand touch, listening to the specific piece of music you have over and over and kind of visualizing in your head the pacing of it and the beats per minute and whether it sounds slow or fast to you. But you could use these basic waveforms and cut and arrange things and place them on the beat to create a nice syncopated cut or cinematic sequence. So if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, definitely leave a like on it and let me know what you thought in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to stay tuned for all my future videos so you don't miss any of those. And you can follow me on social media like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that at Just no D Show. I know a lot of you guys send me video link examples to ask me how to do stuff and things like that. So send them on Twitter because YouTube blocks them in the comments when you drop a link. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.